I'd like to introduce Peter Moskowitz again, and he's going to talk about an important research, international research consortium that we have begun. Thank you for coming today. It's a really pleasure to see a full room, and um, I'm glad you could make it. One of the problems with CRPS research is that CRPS is a rare disease. Um, those of us who advocate for the benefit of people with the disease and their families and friends and for scientific research um, would like to think that it is a much more common disease than the numbers that are scientifically justified would imply. But if you look at the science, we can say to uh, the powers that regulate these matters that it is a rare disease. And this has some benefit for us, and yet we know that there are many more people out there than uh, we know about who have the disease and suffer with it every day. CRPS research has been plagued by the fact that it is a rare disease, and it's very difficult for any clinic anywhere in the world to have enough patients to join a clinical trial uh, to test novel therapies, and we need new therapies to help control and perhaps eventually, and we all hope this will happen, cure the disease. In, with that in mind, RSDSA has helped to create the International Research Consortium for CRPS. Um, as I speak, I think there are about 36 members, and these are clinics and principal investigators from around the world, people with a proven track record in CRPS research and they're, who run uh, excellent clinics. Their um, therapies are um, good and they have success in helping people with CRPS live better lives and more productive lives. So we've collected people from around the world who want to join in, their, in the research effort. And the um, IRC, we call it, the International Research Consortium, is now in its formation year. Uh, its board is being formed. Its charter is being approved. It is incorporating and doing all the things that are required of a not-for-profit organization. And it will go after big grants to perform big research for your benefit. And we hope that you will follow our newsletter, which will have information about the IRC as its work progresses um, to create new therapies uh, to treat CRPS and make it something we can all live with rather than control our lives. Thanks very much.